Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a chess miniature played between two Soviet chess players, where the white piece is playing David Bronstein and his opponent is Alexander Kotov. The game was played in 1946 at Moscow Championship. Let's see what happened on the board. Bronstein opened up with e4 and Kotov responded with c6, Karokan defense d4, d5, knight c3, d takes e4, knight takes e4 and knight d7, black goes for modern variation or nowadays this is also called as carpo variation. The short term goal of the line is to play knight g f6 and after knight takes f6 to recapture with the knight on d7, thus not allowing white to damage his pawn structure on the king's side. Here we have knight f3 by Bronstein, knight f6 and instead of knight g3, which is the main continuation according to modern theory in our game we have knight c3. If you remember a few days ago I published a game played by Mikhail Tal against Leonid Chamkhovich where in that game again Tal moved back his knight on c3. It turns out that Mikhail Tal knew about this chess miniature from early childhood and he even mentions about that fact in his book The Life and Games of Mikhail Tal. Here Kotov played e6, bishop d3, bishop e7, white castles kingside, c5, queen e2, c takes d4, knight takes d4, black castles kingside, we have an equal game, both players are developing their pieces, knight c5, rook d1, knight takes d3, rook takes d3, black decided to get rid of white's active light squared bishop which was eyeballing on Black's king side bet. Now, once this rook appears on the third rank, the rook can allow white to create nice attacking chances on the king side. Queen c7, knight b5, queen c6, rook d1, b6, knight d4. White first attacked black queen and then played knight d4. All the time, white is finding ways of harassing that queen, but still. Nothing poisonous, you know, queen c7, rook g3 and king a j, the prophylactic move, but this looks very passive. Rook d8 or playing a6 is better in order not to allow any knight b5 jumps anymore. But in our game after rook g3 we have king a j, here again we have knight b5, queen b7, and now the queen on b7 is hindering the development of the queenside bishop, queen e5. A6 finally black decided to kick away white knight, knight c3 and a terrible mistake by Kotov, knight d7. So far so good, with tiny inaccuracies black was holding, though still solving the development of this queenside bishop is somewhat problematic and on the other hand white has a nice attack. In here it was better to play rook d8, with the idea of playing rook d7 and then queen c7 try to somehow activate this bishop and the queen, but in our game after knight c3 we have knight d7. And as we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find David Bronstein's next move. Actually in here he made a move and black resigned. Ready? Well look, right now the queen on e5 is hanging, but instead of moving it away, David Bronstein played. If you were thinking about a move like bishop takes g7, that won't give white anything, and the winning move is bishop h6 and black resigned. You can't accept the queen sacrifice because after bishop takes g7, king g8, bishop takes e5, discover check, black king is getting checkmated. It's very important to remove the knight in order not to allow any knight g6 moves, and actually this final checkmate reminds me of Vladislav Artemyev's game against Zbina Karacek. In case you missed that game, I will pin the link in the comment section. And we have a pretty nice Pillsbury's mate, right? The rook cooperating together with the bishop are managing to kill the enemy king. But after bishop h6, let's take a look at other continuations as well. Though, to be honest, it's difficult to find a good continuation for black. Let's take a look at f6, which again can't do anything, it's just temporarily blocking the queen's diagonal, but again, even in this case, white can quickly announce a checkmate. Yes, there is no way out, you know, from white's aggression, that's why after, where is that bishop h6? After bishop h6 on move 21, Alexander Kotov resigned. A nice, nice chess miniature by David Bronstein. 
Well, in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle. Please take a look at this position and try to find the mating line for white. How are you going to conclude the attack? That's the question and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, in the end you can also check out the suggestions as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.